How do we reduce the cost of clean energy technology? How do we improve solar energy materials? How can we integrate more renewable energy resources like wind and solar power onto our electricity grid? How can we bring solar energy solutions that are both cheap and efficient to the developing world? How do we overcome the fact that our cars have been driven by oil for over a hundred years? How are we going to get the public to believe in the reality of climate change? Back in 2005, a small group of us at Cal, committed to the idea of building a community around clean tech innovation, created the Berkeley Energy and Resources Collaborative. Berk's mission is to connect students in energy and resources with like-minded academics and professionals from Cal and the entire Bay Area. Berk started as just a club at the Haas School of Business, but quickly grew campus-wide because they recognized the need to bring in students in engineering and the sciences. In total, Berk's members represent 11 colleges and 28 departments across campus. Being a part of Berk is really inspiring because you get to see the research and work that everyone is doing on campus, and it gets you really excited about your own research. I joined Berk to engage with all of the amazing business students, faculty, scientists, and engineers across campus about energy issues. And I've also gotten exposed to a lot of professional opportunities that I don't think I would have had access to otherwise. Energy is a truly interdisciplinary topic. It touches business and economics, the natural sciences and in our interaction with the environment, scientific and engineering innovation, and the laws and policies that govern the energy industry. We really believe that the more people we can engage, the more potential there is for us to innovate. The fact that Burke is 100% student-run allows us to be extraordinarily nimble and just a little bit crazy. We have a lot of freedom in what we can do. We get to choose what topics we cover in events. We get to choose who we bring to campus. Over the past five years alone, Burke has hosted over 110 events that have been attended by over a total of 7,500 people. So, on top of the stellar education Berkeley students are getting in class, Berks events help give students an opportunity to go outside of the classroom and connect with their peers in energy and resources. Berks Energy Summit attracts over 600 attendees annually, bringing together the Berkeley energy community and Bay Area industry professionals. Berk also has eight communities where students can collaborate on a defined topic or subsector. From the Berkeley Water Group to Berk China Focus, there's so much for students to participate in. Since 2009, Burke has worked with over 90 startups, corporations, and government agencies, engaging nearly 400 students. In 2015, Burke teamed up with the Berkeley Energy and Climate Institute, receiving a U.S. Department of Energy grant to host one of eight regional student clean tech startup competitions to feed into a national competition. In just its first year, the Berkeley Clean Tech University Prize has provided eight startups with Berkeley-based mentorship and entrepreneurship training as they compete for a $50,000 grand prize. The energy industry isn't always an easy place to pursue a career. It's highly politicized and there are a lot of hurdles to clean tech adoption, but Burke members just keep pushing. Burke students are already saving the day when it comes to energy and climate. I'm working on a new solar material that could radically change solar energy production. I'm really interested in energy regulation. I'm interested in looking at the magnitude of technology innovation spillovers in the clean energy industry. I'm currently focused on energy storage. Burke's members inspire me every day with their devotion to improving our global stewardship of energy and resources. The clean energy future is an exciting vision for where we are headed as a society. And Burke members are key to getting us there. When we founded this, we never had any idea it would become as large as it's become. We really thought we were stitching together a small group of people just to learn about the industry and figure out solutions together. It's been amazing to see what's happened over the course of the last 10 years. All I can imagine is that in the next 10 years, it's going to spawn a whole new breed of leaders who help solve the problems that we face today. 